Tamer Razor here, six weeks out from the USA's. Today, June 18, so time is coming pretty close to the USA's. Uh, we're right here in the Southern California NPC Championships. First time of this show. Um, looking forward to high judge this show and take a look at some of the best athletes here in California. You know, when, you, when you're a head judge, the primary goal of the head judge is to give the other judges a sense of direction. So, of course, it's about like 20 guys that come in, for example, and me as a head judge, I'll pretty much select the top five, the ones that I think are the best, and then the rest of the judges, normally about seven to other 11 guys on the panel, would decide between these five what they think are the best. So the head judge gives a sense of direction of what he thinks is the best, and mostly is the guy with the most experience on the panel. But the judges, very importantly, they're not obligated to go in the direction of the head judge. They're just, you know, pretty much giving like a sense of direction by him or her. Well, they finish right. From the license. So, let's pray. Side chest. Hey Flex, this is um, Juan Dizu here at Costco doing my little food shopping, not too much, just picking up some miscellaneous stuff and had to stop and get a little bit of ice cream, it's my cheat day so you're going to be following me today and watching what I eat on a cheat day, starting off with a hand dip ice cream bar. Heading to Pizza Hut right now, starting off the day, well we did have some ice cream but starting off the day with some Pizza Hut as a meal. Um, this is IFB Pro, Taylor Gonzalez, my girlfriend. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know her. And she's gonna cheat with me. You know, she's gonna not eat as much, but she's gonna eat some food. I just ordered family size breast sticks, family size garlic bread with cheese, 14 boneless honey barbecue wings, two pies of pizza. That's what it's gonna look like for today for uh, the first cheap meal of the day. So, just finished Pizza Hut. Gonna get dessert now. Uh, had nice slices of pizza. Um, God knows how many breadsticks and garlic bread. Thank you, sir. Um, all right, let me get a triple scoop of ice cream. Um, one scoop of praline and two Snickers. Make them big scoops. And um, I want um, heat bar and almonds. And that'll be a triple scoop of ice cream for Flex Magazine. So it's cute. You can see I'm talking a little more. Color my eyes are just starting to float in my system. Hey everybody, we're just a few minutes away, actually very, very few seconds away from the first annual Southern California Championship. John Lindsay's NPC new show. It's fantastic. We've got almost 200 competitors. We've got some beautiful bodybuilders, figure competitors, physique athletes. Yes. And, uh, bikini. And bikini. Yeah, of course, yeah. And, uh, we've got three great guest posers, including um, Phil Heath, yes, Farnsworth. Derek Farnsworth, and myself, of course. And we're going to have a great time. We're about to get started, so uh, without further ado, see we'll see you out there. Hey everybody, welcome you to the 2011 first annual NPC Southern California Championships here in San Diego, California. I'll be here hosting tonight. My name is Peach Tony, and I'll be hosting with uh, Marisa Guzman Chiconi, my beautiful wife, and also IMPB figure professional. It's going to be fun. You know, we haven't done this yet. How many years? We haven't posted together. Yeah. Just for a few photos back. every here once in a while. Never it's true. Huh? So it's all about right here. Rush, rush, rush for two minutes. You gotta be ready at all times. What's that? You guys rock. And let's go. Go ahead. I did, I did. You got the music? We don't even get the pump up, do we?
I'm four weeks out right now. Um, I think my condition is where it's supposed to be. About 98% ready. Um, right now I'm carb cycling. Been carb cycling for one week now. Um, every other day I rotate my carbs. So I pretty much have three low carb days out the week and three moderate carbs and my really high carb up, which is my cheat day. Um, for those who wonder, I, my cheat day never gets taken out. I'm usually ready way before time. I'm, I pretty much eat up to the show. I don't really like to talk, but um, West Coast, um, forget them Smith machine. Freeways, baby. That's all I'm gonna say. Compare my pictures. I, one thing I do to see w and how I know where my condition is supposed to be, I have a picture of my best condition today from last year, um, Nationals or North America, whichever one, but I usually go for my latest one, which was the Nationals. And I take, a, 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 I take that picture of which I'm 100% and I compare every week my picture to that. So every time I take photos, I compare to that picture and see where do I need work? Do I need to be tighter? You know, am I tight enough? And usually that's my gauge, because sometimes we can look in the mirror and we're like, wow, we're, we're lean, we're super tight, because we see veins, we see vascularity. There are certain areas that sometimes you will not see unless you compare it to a picture of you in shape 100%. Um, it's pretty much how I gauge my progress. That and my coach Dave, you know, he pretty much tells me what he thinks, how much weight he thinks I need to lose and stuff like that. It's just for my, for my own mental, you know, sanity, to keep my sanity and make sure that, and for me to know that I'm on track, I compare my pictures. I just like, you know, looking at stuff like that. I'm very meticulous. Yeah, the book is Tamerisms. It's all about everything keep me motivated. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. The more weight you put, the lighter it gets. It's too light. It's too light. A lot of good guys out there. I'm just warming it up to it, you know? You gotta start putting a little bit of like wood on the fire, you know? Fire's starting to warm up. The weights are too light, you know? Still warming it up. Ah. Please. You know, I wanna say this. One of the, the bad things about bodybuilding nowadays is that people are so focused on how much they gotta weight. You know, like when Frank Zane, Lila Brada used to compete, people forget about these guys were like 185, you know, 190 pounds tops. You know, nowadays these guys probably wouldn't have any chance on a pro stage. And that's, you know, really why bodybuilding has lost a lot of its, its appeal to the mainstream. Because, you know, like guys are like more focused on how beautiful, instead of be how beautiful their chest, their waist are, their way, they're like focused on like, I'm 300 pounds. That really doesn't mean anything, you know, like, I don't think that people in the time that Frank Zane compete, Arnold, Lila Brada, they used to care about how much the guys used to weigh. They used to care how beautiful their physiques was. And that's what's what bodybuilding is all about. It's about an art form. Nowadays, you just see on Facebook and the internet, oh, I weigh 300 pounds, I weigh 280 pounds. How that means anything. Like this ugly fuck here. It's like, what do you rather be? 195 pounds of pure beauty or 300 pounds of pure shit, you know? It's like, 
I don't know. I think the more shit you have, actually, the worse it is. Not the better. I actually love John. He's my best friend. I look at him every day and I look and I think about how nice I look. He makes me feel good about myself. Thanks, John. Fuck. That's what friends do for each other. Is that what it is? Yes. Right, beautiful. You got it up? Come on, four weeks. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go back to the hotel. That's hot. I thought it was too heavy. I'm going to take one, two, three. Come on. Shoot! this guy but I'm already ugly I don't worry about it it's about getting big now he's right though you know what bodybuilding is an art form and I wouldn't say it's a lot lost art but it is about balance proportion symmetry and being big and thick and heavy Tamer. Fuck it, that was good. Heavy, not bad. It's only everything, that's all. It's only everything. <laughs>